two of the shoots he did with Spielberg, uh, both Jaws and Close Encounters, he said they were the two hardest films he ever made in his life, and he doesn't think he could make them today. He had took a 27-year-old version of himself to have the courage to, to do that, he said. Uh, first of all, so it didn't seem like that was a, a relaxed and creative atmosphere. It seemed like a nightmare, the way people were talking about it. Well, actually, um, although he was fired every day during Jaws, <laughs> and we didn't know that, but he would go into the bedroom and he would be fired. Um, <laughs> and only giveaway was that he chewed his nails. That's it. <laughs> but you never would have picked him out as the authority figure on the set. And then, um, he had to improvise what turned into a classic epic film because the shark never worked. Right. And, and we didn't realize that we were the only film ever to try to make a film about the ocean on the ocean. It always shot in tanks. Right. Did you guys, were you all seasick the whole shoot? No, 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 not at all. Okay. Although our script supervisor was not only seasick, she was uh, drunk and <laughs> was of fear, and we were communicating back to her by telephone. Um, he moved his elbow on the syllable, <laughs> you know, thing like that. Right. And uh, for Stephen, um, he not only improvised an epic, we wrote the script as we went along. And as a matter of fact, that script, that film, was the only film I've ever done which had no cast, no shark, and no script the, day, the first day of principal photography. 